right, you guys, it's time for another update on the plants here. The tomatillos are getting unwieldy in their pots, getting so tall um, that they're blowing over. So I really need to transplant these guys, and I'm going to do that. However, I don't have uh, standard size pots, so they'll be going into different size pots. Technically, um, that would end this experiment, but I think I'll still label them and keep an eye on them and see who grows best where. Again, we have our control, our commercial fertilizer, our urine, and our urine with wood ash. The uh, urine and urine with wood ash, I think, are now almost neck and neck. I still think the urine is better. Um, it has about the same amount of flowers, which is new. The um, urine with wood ash was a little later to come on with the flowers. And the urine just looks greener to me, but um, it, of course it has more, I mean, urine has nitrogen in it, but it would be getting it with the wood ash too, so I'm not quite sure what's going on. But we have had a surprise comeback by the fertilizer. Uh, a lot of us were uh, surprised that the f commercial fertilizer was running so far behind in the order it just seems to me like it took some more time to get caught up now it is shorter by I don't know five four or five inches uh, but it does have a good amount of blooms good set and it's got nice um, strong branches I think these are thicker these stalks are thicker and more hardy when these blow over, I don't worry so much about it. When this one blows over, sometimes I have one of these fall to the ground and I've got to stake it up. But of course, our poor little control over here, I'll move, move her over here. She comparatively is anemic and just not doing very well in this pot. So again, um, this is just one test. Next year, I think what I'll do is use uh, a fertilizer that we all know instead of a local store brand. I'll use um, like miracle Grow, and I'll start these in bigger pots. And instead, each one of these does have two plants in it, by the way, if you recall. So there's two. Actually, this one has four. Let's see, two right there. They're not one plant that's branched. This one has three. So they're even supporting more um, branches. Tomatillos, the lower branches die off naturally. So this is really nothing to be concerned about. Um, so I'm going to need to transplant these. Um, but I wanted to give you a last look. And now let me go get the tomatoes and we'll take a peek at those. All right. So I've got the tomatoes up here in order of control commercial fertilizer, urine, urine with wood ash. Uh, these are a lot wider than the tomatillos were, so I'm just going to start over here with the control, which is obviously anemic as well as, oh gosh, she just doesn't have the, the growth that these other ones do. However, she is setting uh, flowers, and they're getting pollinated. The uh, commercial fertilizer has also made a comeback. So I'm guessing it just t took a little while. Some of the branches aren't quite as strong, and it's a, a lighter color, in my opinion, than the urine. These are all the same plant, by the way. I mean, same type of plant. And I have, again, multiple plants in the pot. This one is setting flowers, the urine by itself, and these branches are stronger than these. This one already needs to be staked, although it is taller. It is taller. And then here, the last is the urine um, with wood ash. It does not have any flowering either. It's tied for height with the commercial. Uh, but overall, I would say just the urine. Again, the leaves, I think, are darker. Let's take a look at that. Then urine with wood ash and, and commercial. And the flowers and the size of the stalks. This just tells me, in my opinion, if I had to go with one of these, I would go with just with the urine, not the well, urine with wood ash, which surprises me. Fertilizer has made a good comeback, though. Um, but again, it's just not quite as dark. It's not setting flowers yet, which will, or blooming flowers to set fruit. 
Um, and again, I have to transplant these because they're blowing over, and that could be part of the problem too, as they keep blowing over in the wind, even though I'm trying to find sheltered places for them. So this is update number four. Um, I'm, I'm going to transplant these into pots, but again, they'll be different sizes. So I think that ends the official part of this experiment, although I will keep an eye on these and report back from time to time. Oh, and look, I'm in the, in the greenhouse, but the bumbler has followed us in. We, got, we have a ton of bumblebees this year, but look, it's looking for flowers and it's not finding any on this, on this plant. So it's going back to the anemic one. <laughs> oh, or maybe it'll fly away, I don't know. There it goes. God, these are fascinating. Anyway, so let me know if you have any questions. Um, just thought I'd give you an update. And I'll also put down below how long it's been since uh, the first and second updates were mere minutes from each other, or uh, days, excuse me. So I think I will uh, put, like, update one, what the date was, the second update, which I called number three, and then this one, which is technically the fourth, but it's really the third in the in the big growth process. So there you have it. Let me know if you have any questions, and uh, we'll see you. Thanks.